Back in 1977, Citicorp's new corporate headquarters was the latest in the new generation of concrete skyscrapers and a triumph of design. It had a concrete core mixed with a steel frame, but unknown to anyone, it was an accident waiting to happen. At the time, investigative journalist Jim Dwyer was just a rookie reporter, but his instincts told him to follow a lead. A friend of mine gave me a tip that he'd heard that uh, the Citicorp Tower, which was the gleaming new skyscraper built in the uh, depth of the Depression of New York in 1970s, had actually been built with a flaw in it that made it susceptible to blowing over in high winds. Jim learned that two routine oversights might send the Citicorp building crashing. He discovered no one had ever tested the structure to see how well it would resist the loads exerted by high winds at the corners. In those days, building regulations simply didn't require it. Because the tower was braced with diagonal steel beams arranged as V-shaped chevrons, they thought this wasn't a problem, but only if they were strong enough. If those chevrons were susceptible to being uh, compromised at any point, particularly the weakest point, which is where they were joined, then the building might actually fail. One of the engineers, Leslie Robertson, had a meeting with the bankers. He was asked by one of the bankers, he says, you're not telling us, Mr. Robertson, that this building, this brand new building, is going to fall down, are you? And he said, gentlemen, if the wind blows, and he had a clipboard in his hand and went... The tests had revealed the Citicorp Tower had a 50% chance of complete collapse in winds more than 70 miles per hour. Typical for hurricanes hitting the east coast in the autumn. Generally, the storms come in um, sort of from the southeast, so I think we, if we were standing here when a hurricane hit in 1978, if there were one, we would have been okay, but we would have had a tremendous vista of destruction all around us. The discovery had been made in July, meaning engineers had just weeks before the onset of hurricane season to strengthen the tower. To avoid panic, they had to do this in secret. Night after night, after office workers left the building, the light from welding torches could be seen high above the streets as steel braces were welded onto the chevrons to make the joints strong enough. The near miss showed just how risky building tall can be. And if this was true in the 1970s in New York...